Daydreaming at night about you I'm not closing my eyes without you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I did a beauty breakdown of this look on my stories a couple weeks ago and a lot of you were really into it and I myself I'm really into it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This is my go-to quick glam for um, anytime I need to just get ready quickly if I have to run out and look nice and look glam or um, if I have to like shoot some OOTDs or just shoot any photos quickly. This is my go-to. It takes about 10 minutes, give or take, just depending on brows. Like without brows, 10 minutes or under. Um, brows take a little longer, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, it's just a fail-free kind of look. It's beautiful. I get the most compliments when I wear simple looks like this anyway. So that's good to know that I don't have to go all out all the time, um, or most of the time, really, even though I just love playing with makeup and taking the time and building it up and whatever. It's nice to know that I don't have to. Continue watching and I'll teach you guys how I create this look. But since I'm gonna be explaining every step and why I do everything, it is gonna take just a little bit longer, but yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I love wearing a foundation that's a little darker than my face, um, especially for a fast look because I don't have time to really perfect it and work on different areas. But even if I'm, you know, taking my time, I do like going in with something darker. It kind of works like a self tanner and it will um, kind of hide all my complexions and it's kind of like pantyhose for the face. Like it really creates like a perfect kind of look. And you guys know I like to go really bright with my under eyes. So the bright, balanced with something much darker kind of gives you an overall look that's like in the middle and matches. I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm doing a good job explaining myself, but that is like um, my thought process when I do it. So yeah, I'm going in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade 21 Cream Caramel. And you can see it is, you know, it is darker than my face. And I like this for fast looks because it has like a big doe foot applicator. So, um, yeah, and that's, that's the packaging. So see, it's quite a bit darker, but it will blend out so nice. And it's really nice and fast because you can apply it like this. I really need to clip my bangs back. Okay, so just like that. Then you're gonna take a foundation brush. I really love the Hourglass vanish foundation brush lately i'm not into using a beauty blender anymore to apply my foundation work that in. do you see how it's kind of giving like a pantyhose like airbrush like that sally hansen leg makeup that airbrush leg makeup which i actually really like but it's kind of giving that kind of look and i really like this shade it has like beautiful golden undertones and it really gives me that golden look So here I have some blemishes. Here I just burned myself with a curling iron last night. So it's kind of concealing that really nice. Obviously I did do, do my brows off camera. Brows are the hardest thing for me. And when they're not right or they're not perfect, that's all a lot of you talk about. And you ignore the rest of the look. So I just wanted to make sure they were on point and I had my face pressed up against the mirror. Okay, so since I went in with a foundation that's quite a bit darker, I'm gonna go in with a bright under eye. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, Light Medium Sand. And I'm just gonna do a swipe, a swipe. Yeah, these doe foot applicators are really great when you're doing like a fast makeup look. Swipe it down and then here and here. And that's just gonna lift the mouth. So I just start with the edge and I blend that out. And then I'm gonna work in and pat it in. I actually might have applied too much product today. So if it's ever too much, you can kind of cut a reverse contour line. Work that into the nose. And okay, so a lot of you really loved my nose contour tutorial, so thank you for that. And you know what? One thing I failed to communicate was since I already had like my face makeup done, you're starting the contour process when you're pressing in your under eye concealer into your nose. So that is already narrowing it. And then when you move on to um, actually contour it, you're doing it even more. Yeah, I applied way too much product today. Sorry guys. 
You know when you're doing a demonstration, you're like, ha! Huh. Like you get so extra with the swipe. I'm sorry. Do you see how I have this like perfect complexion already? I don't have perfect skin, but it's really hiding all of my imperfections. So that blended out really seamlessly. I hope it's translating on camera just as well. But it's stunning. IRL. So I'm going to lightly set my under eyes with a translucent powder. I love the Becca Hydramus powder, as well as the Hourglass Veil powder. I think pretty much those are the two I use when I go in for that like initial set. I don't mean bake, just set. So yeah, doing like the entire center of my face, under eyes, Jesus Christ. So you guys know I love a pink under eye and this is usually the part where or the step where I bake with a pink powder. So when I'm doing a fast makeup look, I don't do that. Um, so what I like to go in with, and I do use this for regular tutorials as well, but I usually use it as a finishing powder, is I go in with the KKW Brightening Powder. This is one of my favorite products, if not my favorite complexion product right now. Pretty much the only peach pink pressed powder that I've come across on the market. I like to use a flat brush. This is really dirty. But this is my Morphe M554 brush. Of course, you can use coupon code Irene for a discount. So I just pack right under, I don't know if you can see on camera. Do you see how that brightened instantly? It has like really beautiful light reflecting pigments in it. It's pink, so it's really gonna pull my blush when I apply blush. Tomorrow I'm gonna try and film a video on all of my pink powders and really explain in depth why I do this technique. There's that. Now for blush, my favorite blush right now is the Charlotte Tilbury, here it is. Love is in the drug, chic to cheek blush. Before I learned how to wear eyeshadow, I would just swipe my bronzer and blush over my lids and my makeup always looked really good like that, but we have evolved, honey. Okay, so for bronzer, um, you can use anything, but sorry, I keep going in with expensive products. It's just, my taste has evolved as well. <laughs> this is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. You can use any bronzer. Benefit Hula is good too, because it's subtle and it's neutral. You want to go in with something neutral, especially when you're doing a fast look. It leaves less room for error. You really can't mess up with a subtle bronzer like this. Whoops. And you just build it up. And you can kind of blend that into the eyelid. See, look how beautiful that cheek is. Oh, I should have contoured my nose. Damn, because that requires a little bit of baking. I'm a little out of order, my stuff is unorganized. Unorganized. You guys saw my nose contour video. Thank you for the amazing feedback. This um, Easy Bake Powder really has like a really beautiful blurring quality rather. And it really smooths out everything and creates like a velvety base. So that will help with smile lines and It'll keep your lip liner clean. Lip liner and brows are the two hardest things for me. While this is baking, let's do eyes. For fast makeup looks when I'm on vacation or I just have to quickly make myself presentable before going out, I love cream stick shadows. So the Laura Mercier Caviar eyeshadow sticks are fantastic. So this one is khaki. I'm just gonna add some darkness to my lids. So I'm just creating a V. Lash line to the corner to up in the outer crease, just like that. And then all I'm gonna do, take a brush and just buff it out. This is totally optional. I have huge eyes, I need it. <laughs> you don't have to buy khaki. Laura Mercier makes like a million different shades. I think Burnished Bronze is another one I really like. That one's a little more warm toned, so I like that better. But it's not on my desk right now. And it's subtle, but it'll stay because it's cream. And then for my actual lash line, I like to go in with a black. This is Tuxedo, also Laura Mercier. I use this a lot. 
I'm just smoking out my lash line. So when I apply a liquid liner, it won't look so harsh. It takes like just a minute. And so another option, other than doing those cream shadows, is just using your bronzer. And this is how I used to do my eye makeup all the time before I learned how to do eyeshadow. And it just blends into your cheek like perfectly because it's the same color, same tones, same thing with blush. Cool, okay. My mouth feels really dry. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, so for eyeliner, I love the new Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid liner. It is so good, and I'm not a liquid liner girl, but this has converted me. I don't know what is so different about it, because, yeah, it's like a brush tip, not felt, but there's other liners like that, so I don't know what makes it so different. And it finishes matte, not shiny, like a lot of liquid liners, so I really, really like it. So I don't even do a full wing. I just do my lid. A wing is too risky for me. Mirror is doing nothing for me. Hold on. All right, makeup's pretty much done. Just let's curl our lashes, apply a really good lengthening, darkening mascara. Oh, I forgot about my lower lash line. Same thing, use a cream shadow and then just smudge it out. Wow, I can't see. And sometimes you don't even really need to smudge it. Crayons, you can like get in the waterline and lower lash line all at once. Love that. I'm not even gonna blend it. It's Charlotte Tilbury Golden Quartz. Beautiful. Um, eyes are done. Should we do lips or highlight? I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. It's one of my favorite highlighter palettes. I love marshmallow and gumdrop, so I'm gonna kind of go in with both. For my nose, let's grab a little marshmallow. And now, lips. My go-to brown is KKW Nude 2. I also like Nude 1, but I like Nude 2 better. I realized I only highlighted my nose, not my cheeks, but I will. Anyway, for lipstick, this is MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the color Mullet Over. It's stunning. It's like a pinky nude. I feel like it's like the color of your lips, but better. Soft, velvety texture, it's stunning. Let's go in, let's do pink. Let's do gumdrop. Just use whatever you used as your cheek highlight. All right guys, this is the final look. I'm gonna go shoot an outfit and I'll be back with my sleigh shot. All right guys, I am crazy, like absolute crazy pants. I don't even remember how many days it's been since I filmed this tutorial, but I never came back from my sleigh shots. Fine, I got busy. That's not why I'm crazy. Um, I sat down to film this like three more times. Like I did my makeup because I had to like shoot some pictures or I had to go somewhere or whatever. And I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do my makeup exactly as I did it. I'm gonna shoot my sleigh shots, shoot my intro, and I always ran out of time. So now I don't even remember how long it's been. I swear it's been like a week, but here I am. Um, I did my makeup exactly the same. I really hope it looks the same on camera, but um, yeah, this um, simple makeup look is just, it's very consistent. I feel like it always looks the same and um, it's very hard to mess up. The only thing I could see myself messing up is my eyebrows. Everything else is very easy and subtle and you just, you really can't mess it up. Anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys really loved this. Um, it's really easy. I kind of really like that it took me a week to finish because I like this barrette turtleneck turtleneck kind of look um I know it's not very spring but it's cold in LA this weekend which is kind of strange but anyway um thanks guys so much for watching please subscribe if you're not already I have all the products linked below as well as my barrettes and I'll see you guys next time oh oh my god 
I forgot to mention, I don't want to lie, but I did change one thing, only one thing when I did this glam today. Instead of the KKW powder, um, I did use it lightly, but I really wanted to really try the Morphe pink powder. Did you know they had a pink powder? I had no idea. I found out um, this past week, maybe last weekend. I tried it out for you guys in stories, but I was so busy that night that like I didn't really pay attention to how much I liked it. So I really want to try it and I love it. And it's really, really affordable compared to a lot of the other pink powders that I use. And of course you can use coupon code Irene for a discount, but that is the only difference. But um, you did see me before I left to go do my sleigh shots, even though I never came back. So you can see that it was bright and beautiful before with something simple or like a pressed powder versus a loose powder, but um, full disclosure, I didn't wanna lie. <laughs> but it's really, really bright and beautiful, I love it. But everything else is the same, I swear. Whatever you want, I got you. I'll make it easy like Sunday.